The notion of self-investment, I think, is an incredible one. Um, if you don't do it, you're not going to grow. If you don't put value back into yourself, primarily, you're not going to grow. You're not going to experience the things and grow from them. You're going to be a set product. You're going to be stagnant. Uh, and I think it's, it's probably not just an unhealthy element not to do. I think it's highly toxic, uh, is that if you don't do this, you're, you're going to be not only f you're, you're emotionally stunted, you're developmentally stunted. And we know you have a particular life trajectory. Uh, you know, as a man, I can predict certain elements are going to happen in my life over a, a certain span. I will age, my body will do things differently, and I have a finite time to improve myself to be where I want to be at a particular time. Investing in any sort, anything, whether it's a business, a, a trade, or anything, getting the tools and resources available to do the job necessarily help you out. And if it's personal development, you know, in your life, the most important thing that's going to ever exist will be you, you know, for, for yourself. Investing wholly into that is an idealized self, you know, and how do you achieve that? And it's going to be one of the wonder questions of, of this age. What do you do with your life? You know, and we have, we don't, we've, we're living in an age when you can actually ask yourself that question. You know, at no other time in human history have men been able to ask themselves that fundamental question. What do you want to do with your life? And then have the resources at hand to be able to have that life, to pursue that life, and have the liberty to do it. Uh, it's, it's incredibly mind-boggling. Uh, and it's, it's, a, it's a heady question. And I think it reflects of, of one of the things of our days, uh, in our age that we live in, is that young men are having to discover that for themselves in this kind of knowledge-based service uh, economy that we have. And it, it, it delays this idea of onset, you know, of becoming an adult. And it's, it's fascinating to me that we have these opportunities and we know that we're going to be responsible for leading relationships and leading our lives, but we're not giving men the opportunity to learn and to develop and to foster these skills.